Welcome Aries to the David Sky Studios in the urban jungles of Cancun, Mexico of all places. Really beautiful here evening. I hope the sun's not too much behind me. We should be able to see the cards. Um, what a beautiful evening. You know, I'm kind of late with my uh, readings. I always do on Mondays, Aries Taurus Day. So we do the heart spread here and also do the singles reading, Meet the Soulmate. There's no one at all on your mind. I've shuffled Aries a lot. I've been out here getting it together and get quiet. Um, so what we're doing here is just looking at you, this person that's mostly on your mind. You could say maybe they're in your heart. Um, it's not necessarily one you're with. Um, they're just who's with you in, in your in spirit, you could say. Might be the one you're with. That's usually how it works. Maybe you just somebody you're crushing on. Aries, this is you. <laughs> Incredible. 78 cards. I'm not good at mathematics, but the percentage for that. Shuffled a lot. And uh, Aries, this is your card. Uh, the Emperor card. So, this is in the position of where you're at in and around relationships, love. Uh, right now and I try to separate a little from the ongoing energy with whoever this is you're thinking of and just kind of get a baseline of where you're at when you show up in this position in the reading you're absolutely being authentic you're whatever you're doing I mean you're doing you so it's, this is I would say like this is the best card that you could get in an Aries reading of the heart spread right for you so already that's how you're showing up you're so it, when you're in that energy if there's anything to the law of attraction what is that going to pull, pull in you know um, something good let's see what wheel of fortune good fortune look at that that's a jupiter card guys um this could be a sagittarius personality here, this is their energy in and around love and relationships, where their mind is at, where their heart is at. Again, kind of looking at them, getting a little bit of a baseline, trying to detach here for a moment from how they may or may not feel about you. And the emperor represents you, not as such as you feel about them so much as uh, where you're at. And, you know, you're just absolutely being yourself. You're not going to settle. Um, you're feeling strong. Um, you're not worried um, it's a fantastic energy and then coming in with the wheel of fortune and Jupiter energy it's got, got to be Sagittarius guys it's a classic match by fire you know Sag and Aries so let's see you'll definitely take the lead in this rule I mean you come in this should like okay reason why Aries takes the lead over Sag Aries archetype will take control over Sagittarius archetype 99 times out of 100 because uh, it's cardinal energy and Sag is mutable energy and you know um, much more directional Aries is like an arrow that's going at a specific target like dinner for instance say um, Wheel of Fortune Sag you know they we shoot arrows I'm a Sag I gotta admit we shoot arrows at the sun you know, um, so it's a very different energy, uh, taking chances and got to be some kind of energy with this right here of your person feeling like you are like a winning, a good fortune, uh, I don't know, uh, it's some way like that, they're, they're just like going, your person would be going, oh my God, it's like they, you won the lottery when they got you, and I don't really mean that in a in your pocket way. I mean that like they just, but you probably are someone that's substantial, at least compared to them, Aries. But um, there's that energy of, you know, they're feeling um, um, really grateful for you. I'll say, I'll leave it like that, you know, really grateful to, so, the Wheel of Fortune energy. Let's see, this is how you're feeling now toward them. And you are looking at them with your page of cups so now imagine uh, the emperor it's like the emperor sending out a page uh, to maybe send a little note like we should do at school and that page is looking right at your person over here at this wheel of fortune really 
and the page is ready to say, uh, you know, I love you, do you love me? Check one of these boxes. Yeah, if you're not a little older, I don't know, the kids still do that back uh, nowadays. Now I don't even go to school. You can send cyber notes, but yeah, it's like, you know, uh, the emperor getting a little giddy. Mind you, this is a mind you of the uh, Soul Family Raid today, so maybe check that out if you haven't. Um, Soul Family Collective Read. I'll put a link with this too if you want on the descriptions. Check it out and see if you might uh, resonate for anyone. So let's see how they're reacting to your offer of love. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's pretty clear, guys. It's like they're coming in with this Wheel of Fortune energy. Um, they maybe feel like they're getting lucky. They're riding high. They may have a feeling of like good fortune or something, you know. Maybe they've had several things going their way and they're feeling like, you know, they're on a roll. Uh, but when it comes to you now, coming up with, up with a Seven of Cups, they're definitely feeling emotional turmoil of some kind. They can't, maybe they can't put their finger on it. Um, and this is it's not necessarily a deal breaker type of energy here. But this is you, I mean, maybe you came pretty quick with your Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is like, very well, it could be, you know, I kind of love you, or I could fall in love with you, or maybe I love you, or it's like something pretty strong emotionally. Um, and, you know, sad as the rap is, you know, we, we're like um, uh, shy, the shy horse there. You got to take your time, you got to tame them down <laughs> or something. But, yeah, that's, it's, a, it's not a good response to a page of uh, cups. Let's see what your advice is um, uh, here. Wow. Okay. This is very interesting. I, I love it, though. Advice from Spirit for you now, Aries, towards this person who may have a Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, is emotionally now with, with your Page of Cups. This is uh, backing you up. This is underneath your Page of Cups is go for it. Because now your Emperor is sending this message and backing it up with action. Wands, I mean, uh, Mars's actions, uh, these uh, cups are actions when they're knights. Um, and here, uh, even though it's emotions, it's uh, them taking kind of stronger action towards you. And this is with like the divine advice for them to do this, um, actually. And this knight of cups is facing right at you, Aries. They're not going to be playing here. Um, it's like they maybe approach you, okay? And you're kind of like, I don't know. You know, and she might have a sip of my Earl Grey tea. Oh, oh it's a civilized, you know, it's what makes life worth living. Mm -hmm. You know, um, so this kind of maybe caught them by surprise or maybe they didn't expect to. This is a lot of feelings, the feelings to be so strong. And uh, this is kind of maybe some kind of initial like thing. And Spirit's advising you to really pour it on and continue. They're not saying to, like, back it off. It's like, maybe it's good. Let's see what their advice is for you. Wow, the Empress. Yes, so um, they're the Emperor. And now their Emperor is going to meet the Empress. And that's your person here showing up as the Empress. And look, the Knight, his cups is going towards. have to do them backwards to show it right. He's going towards this person. So if you're a cross-watcher... Um, they're going to be pouring on more love and your advice from spirit as the empress it, it kind of like I think it's like reminding you you're not like a Sagittarius whatever what you are is an empress man or woman you know um, you're this very stable beautiful uh, desirable uh, mature person that's uh, very capable and strong um, nurturing also okay the, the kind of strength that can be nurturing and supportive uh, it's not even hard for the empress to do that and you know you you i gotta say you got the emperor here you and now you've got the empress here your person you could be dealing also uh they could have some taurus in their chart it's not impossible to be a sad sun and a taurus moon this is one example there's a lot of different ways it could roll. Taurus rising in their energy. That kind of thing. 
could be too with that. They might be a little bit slower than your normal Sagittarius, this person. So you might think normally, oh, well, they're going to bite on that pretty quick, but maybe you... Seven of Cups to me can kind of be like you blew somebody's mind. That's like... They kind of couldn't get overloaded. And it's emotional. You blew their mind emotionally, you know? <clears throat> wow, we don't want to read from the bottom of the deck. No, 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 no. Two of Cups. Wow, so very important. Just the seventh card of an eight-card spread. Uh, where the heart takes shape and next is the outcome but I consider this so important because this is the advice from spirit for now what we have to consider a relationship here Aries and I don't think the two of cups here is anything about any kind of decision you look at it in the reading one from the Empress and one from the Knight of Cups already coming together obviously and this is advice from spirit each one and very much for your person it's to know you know because you're the emperor it's to know for your person and you i think you won't have any problem with this aries um that, that they are every bit the empress to match your emperor and and maybe because maybe part of that was the seven of uh, cups like they were thinking like why would they want me there's something wrong gotta be a trick i mean look at them they're the emperor and they're coming in um, and also with this wheel of fortune energy this could be someone um, Aries that's very beautiful maybe younger than you in, in any case someone very desirable physically too um, and with the Empress here is the advice only adding to it I do get that feeling too, the Empress so um, you know it's someone that could definitely get the full attention of an Emperor it's an Empress <laughs> it's amazing well, two of cups is just give each other your cup of love it's like that's the core a relationship that's it isn't it you know I love you yeah I love you I want to be with you I want to be with you okay let's do this you know hermit wow it's not the first time I've gotten this uh, this month anyway and uh, two other readings earlier in the week we had the hermit as the outcome card show again so I hope you could see it here I have some odd lighting <laughs> I can see the back of it fine with the sun reflecting. So, wow, um, I think that uh, the Hermit is such a powerful outcome. And it coming over the Two of Cups, you two coming together, it's you guys hermiting. Now, you know, this can be a honeymoon in many instances, uh, unless you're Gemini's <laughs> astrology joke. <laughs> no, because we're extra social, you know, uh, or maybe Libra couple or something. Uh, but, you know, it's not that unusual, but it looks to me like when you guys come together, and this is going to be a spiritual relationship, and you're both going to turn inward in terms of the relationship, and uh, you won't have any issues around, like, uh, um, um, negative emotions or control, you know, or this kind of thing, or, de you know, dependence and stuff like that. It's like, uh, this is... Um, becoming like basically like a spiritual couple the hermit is a spiritual car where you look inward uh, for answers and to align yourself with your spirit your true path um, and often that is someone that then kind of cloisters themselves away so you there'll, there'll be some process of that as you move forward into this relationship um, Aries where you guys remove yourselves um, you know it could be when I see this a lot of times I just wonder if there isn't, you know, on one or the other side here, or both could be uh, possible uh, disgruntledness or, or negative energy. And so you guys kind of low-key uh, things between you as you come together. And it's most definitely um, coming together, Aries. I see nothing but a go here uh, after your person's initial uh, shock and awe. I think that might be what it was. Your, your, your little page of cups, little old page of cups caused a shock and awe for them. So thank you guys. And uh, give me a like, would you? And thumbs up and all that. And uh, tell a friend, tell a friend. And uh, I do appreciate everyone subscribing. It's been a lot lately. Help me get towards that thousand. And we do this live. I think it'll be some uh, fun. I have to figure it out a little bit, but figure it out. And um, be fun to kind of interact, guys. Thank you. Welcome to the studio. <laughs> Sunset. <laughs>